we have actually found ourselves our first standing ghost town in a long time. <laughs> wow. Just the way they left it too. Another ball mill. There we go, our flotation tanks up there. Engine room behind. Engine pistons, alternator, old headlights. What were they trying to keep out of here? Oh, we've got a huge old two-stroke diesel engine. This is getting bad. I've been walking for hours now. back with you taking a wrong turn out in the desert but I have spotted something back there in the distance unfortunately mine mobile 3.0 uh, yeah it's just it's not gonna make it through the wash so Hannah's volunteered to babysit the car and I am taking a rather long stroll um, technically I wasn't even meant to stop so she's probably not gonna be too happy about that I spotted at least five more things ahead of us though, so this is going to be a very long trip. I reckon we're going to rock into town um, where we're staying, probably around midnight uh, at the rate we're going, but um, you know, go work. There is nothing out here apart from what looks like an old mill in the distance. I am sticking to the path because experience has shown whilst it does look like a shorter route through all this stuff who knows what sort of creepy crawlies and divots there are probably gonna make better time just sticking to the road my god that sun is hot against my better judgment we are now detouring from the established path and we are taking the as the crow flies route hopefully i don't get mauled by a snake I presume they're out here. It's just, where is the question? I'll let you guys know once I'm there. Interesting. It's like, it's quite light stuff here. Like, it feels sort of very sedimenty. But, um, as you can probably see, uh, it is mineralized with this uh, sparkly green stuff. And I'm starting to see a bit of gossiness looking stuff floating around. All right, I gotta, I gotta keep looking for snakes. Absolutely fascinating. What is that in the distance? I spotted it from the road. Instinctually, like I said, I have formed the view that there are a large number of snakes out here and that I just can't see them yet. And in addition to that viewpoint, uh, I hypothesize that they're probably curled up around every single one of these little bushes and are hiding there such that I can't see them um, until I step on them. Mentally, uh, what's happening now, basically playing a game of human minesweeper, uh, where these thickets with the presumed snakes around them uh, are the mines. And I guess I'm the sweeper. That's interesting. Just found this in the wash. And yeah, I don't think I've seen that color of mineralization before. Um, there are other rocks here that sort of have a olivine, I'm gonna say, um, color about them. We're getting closer. Yeah, really interesting. I haven't seen vugs like this before. I think I can now actually hear snakes moving around me everywhere. That or it's a dehydration. It's getting to me. It's so hot out here. I'm very thirsty. Uh, did not plan this at all. Well, hopefully you can see that off in the distance now. That's where I spotted. There's a dot in the hill from a highway. And I've really wandered off 
into the middle of nowhere um, to go chasing after this thing. Uh, going is getting a little bit easier now that we're in the wash. Um, but my uh, my snake hypothesis is also now like sort of reevaluating to maybe they like to hang out in washes as well. Some old relics and it looks like a water line running up to the operation. No idea where uh, they were getting the water from though because it is dry as bone out here. I think I just see our first bit of drill, scrap iron dump. Yeah, there's a huge amount of in the wash there. It's like old pots and stuff. Look at this. It's like an old ceramic cooking pot. Um, what else do we have here? Old mugs. Old cans. Wow. I think we have actually found ourselves our first standing ghost town in a long time. Oh, this is way more than I expected. Check it out. Abandoned mining village. I'm going to be pissed if there's an added here because I didn't bring, in addition to not bringing any water or any concrete plans, um, also if my flashlight, gas meter, basically I left my entire bag in the car. Um, with the view that if I was going to walk for an hour through the desert, that I really needed to save on weight. Wow, very intact. You don't usually see them like this. Looks like they just up and left one day in like the 50s or something. Definitely a little bit of a hills have eyes vibe going on. Oh my god, it's so hot out here. My phone's overheating. I'll bring you guys back soon. This is insane. So I've been walking for about one and a half hours through the desert now. I'm so thirsty, my mouth is bone dry. Wow. But we're in the ghost town now. This was just a dot on the side of the hill. And, you know, my mind senses started tingling. And, uh, yeah, here we are. There's an entire town, an entire plant. When Hannah sees this, she's going to be mega pissed as well. I told her I was walking back just to buy some more time. You only once though, right? Update. Hannah is not answering her phone, which some of you have probably guessed is not a good sign. Should we check for Grogan's? Yeah. Brief detour. You know, I would like to be in a situation where I need to urinate, but um, watch out for snakes. I am completely desiccated now. All the water has been evaporated out of my body. Thanks to this fiery desert heat. Watch out for snakes again. Yeah. Weird kind of midden type thing. I wonder why they're collecting them. Ah. Oh, ooh. shit. Okay. Here's the money shot. Oh, gross. Let's check out the miner's hut. I gotta go. It's gonna be dark. Like, I still have another five hours to drive. This isn't good. Okay. It's like a tornado might have blew through here. Ripped the roof off this one. Oh, those old Gatorade bottles. Oh, I could go some of that right now. I'm gonna get some Gatorade on the way out of here. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing. I suddenly had a surge of energy. Looking out for rattlesnakes again. Oh. Wow. Wow.
a bottle collection going on. Uh, hope that's not asbestos. <sighs> wow. Not so uh, yeah, intact anymore. Seen better days. This is like um, a miner shack that I had to hang out in the last time up in Colorado when the storm blew in. Yep. Structural integrity definitely compromised. Boxes of newspaper. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> So mining, mining magazines by the looks. Look uh, at 80s, 90s, 70s. I'll see if I can find one. 1977 appears to be the date. So, lots of stuff on metals. Big coffee drinkers out here too. Jam jars or sample jars. Wild. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Switchboard, washing machine, some sort of, I don't know what that is, some sort of range hood maybe. Cool old desk, old bags, old chairs, definitely no snakes. Some more core, core samples I'm guessing, or like, look like beehives almost. Bunch of electrical gear. Okay, we got an old, Hot water system, some sheds here, which actually may still be looked, locked rather, sorry. Um, yeah, it's just, they kind of just left everything as it was. Uh, see if I can roll this back. That does not want to go. Give me a sec. In retrospect, the obvious choice would have been the door right in front of me. What have we got here? It's like bits and pieces, engine pistons, Alternator, old headlights, stuff, cans. Looking out for rad. Oh, okay. Now, this concerns me. You see those little lines? That looks like snake tracks to me. Wow, this is just untouched though. Exactly as it was. Yeah, bits and pieces from the house here. Shoot cores. Yeah, so this was their shed. Old barrel, untouched. Well, of course, leave that exactly as we found it. It's such a phenomenal sight. It'd be uh, very sad to see it disturbed. Yeah. Snake check. It's just another shed. Urethane, hmm. That sounds like someone's been plugging mine shafts, so perhaps that is not from the original workings. Got some, uh, oh man, I would kill for some ice cold milk right now. That was, Hannah just called me on the phone there. She did not sound particularly happy. Okay, yeah, we gotta keep moving. Close this up. And again, been very careful. Snakes. I'll check out whatever's in here. Hopefully it's not too asbestos ridden. It is a little creepy. I saw some child shoes back there. <laughs> what is this? Is that an old school uh Refrigerator, maybe? I think it might be. I forget how these things work, though. 
Um, it's like a charcoal fridge or something. I think I can see like a little glass mantle in there. Oh, yeah, so I would, I'm gonna hazard to say it's either like some sort of furnace or fridge thing. Can't really see the nameplate on it though. Okay, let's check out the next one, shall we? Tired up in here. Oh shit, I can't get out this way. Lucky lager. <laughs> By far one of the coolest things we've seen in a long time. How about in here? Looks a little bit boarded up actually. Probably someone's trying to preserve it, I would hazard to say. Obviously no one living here at the moment. It's pretty well bolted down. Ah, that would be the old fireplace. Let's see if there's a door on the other side. If not, maybe it just wants to remain undisturbed. Oh no, here we go. It's a bit dumb. That is very back rooms. That is even more back rooms than the haunted school above the tin mine last trip. Once again, I think the uh, the building itself has probably been through a few generations. 1988, um, the year I was born, actually. Um, so maybe the workers have either been um, resampling it, making the place safe again, have been here at various times. Someone's got a trail camera packet up there, actually. Um, I'm guessing that was just when they were doing the work there and had uh, their gear here. Um, old stove. Looks like someone's making pies. Fruit pour, cleaning supplies. I sort of mixed up the hardware with their kitchen a bit here, I guess. Westinghouse, salt by light bulb. <laughs> Dusters. All right, so the real moment of truth here though, is there a refreshment for me after a huge walk through the desert? To get here? No. Oh, that is so sad. Amazing though. <laughs> um, yeah, they seem to, uh, whoever was doing the work here most recently, they are uh, way into that keystone light. I could go one of those two right now, actually. Yeah, it looks like they just sort of packed everything up and, and left. Ooh, let's get this psycho scene in here. I mean, a little bit dated, but you know, it, it has its charm for sure. <laughs> Amazing old school oven. Is it rattlesnake in there? No. Now, this is a little more concerning. What were they trying to keep out of here? Oh my, oh my. A big old mill on the hill. Looks like we got some more air pipe, water pipe, I'm guessing, in here, a big dump of it. I mean, this is a pretty well supplied operation. Oh, huge old riveted drums. They must be, they must be so old. Can't tell the date. Look, no welds, rivets all the way through, um, which means this is really old, really old stuff. Perhaps it's been reworked at some point, but overall, site-wise, yeah, this is an old spot. Got the uh, fuel tank up there, I think. Oh, look at that, though. It's just, it's been left totally undisturbed. I think I can still see some... Um, RC drilling pipe up there. So maybe someone's been in here to drill it. But like, 
I don't think much else. Well, wooden roof. I'm still working under the assumption that everything is full of rattlesnakes and they're going to jump out and bite me the second I get close to something. Signs of some more recent habitation. I think we've got what looks to be an old shaft up here. I mean, hell, I'm here, I know, might as well go and have a look. This looks like maybe um, a ore. No, we have a back graded, we have a back graded incline. It is timbered and it goes down. It is back graded though, so. This doesn't look like it was done too long ago either. Won't be getting in there. Oh, damn. So it is locked up. Oh well, I guess um, I can't be too upset given I didn't bring my gear, but damn, I was not expecting a uh, an incline shaft at all. Wow, I've got some old timbers, like old uh, trees, I think, that someone's used to build like their back backyard fence to keep the snakes out. It looks like someone's been up here and capped the shaft. I think this is the older part of the workings. Yeah, well, this must have been a big operation. So I can see some timbers way down there. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. Um, looks like there's a drive running that way. Weird. I don't know what this is for. Um, and I can see some PVC pipe up there from an RC drill. We've got another shaft cap puller up here. Let's check that out. Then the main workings in the mill. So I've now counted three individual shafts. This looks like another big one. Okay. I think there's a stope down there. Huh. Um, I'm going to continue up here to the main workings. Oh, wow. That is just astounding. Huge three-story mill in the middle of nowhere in the desert. We're going up to the main workings now and the water tanks. I've just going up the hills. Uh, we got another cap shaft. Um, oh, landing in there. Hopefully, you can see that. Yeah. Wow. Landing. I mean, these are probably vents um, above stopes. That's sort of following the line of workings there. <sighs> Something just bit me. Yeah. But yeah, super intact old timbers down there. So sad that it's graded though. Right, let's go up to the tanks, get a view from right at the top here. And then we need to make, make some quick progress. Oh, check it out. Huge old tanks. I'm assuming he's fed the mill down there. And there we've got our string of shafts running down. Let's go check the uh, what I'm guessing was the old main shaft and head frame. Far and away, one of the coolest sites we've been to in a long while. I think that's uh, doesn't look like an air tank. It looks almost like a fuel tank. Oh, got another cap shaft on the hill there. So I'd say yeah, pretty much following that line of workings. I'd imagine they've just been stoping all the way along the strike. I think those little um, tea pieces up on the uh, cap shafts might be so they can uh, see them in the distance. <sighs> There's more malik up there. Where to begin? I think we've got a winding winding shack here. Yep, we've got a drum hoist. There it is, which would put our main shaft somewhere there, basically. Oh, I think we've got an added level. Look at that track. A tramway running out. That is definitely going to be closed off if um, the abandoned mine lands 
reclamation folks have been through here, which it certainly does appear they have been. Yeah, I think we're standing on top of the old portal now. Weird location though. All right, I think that's our compressed air. And we have our air compressor. Wow, look at the size of those old flywheels. So, I mean, obviously this has been revisited at a few different points because some of this looks way more modern than others. I think we've got the remains of a steel head frame and prior to that, the wooden head frame there. There we go. That's our <laughs> that is our uh, mine bucket, if you can call it that. Yeah, right. This one looks a bit more, a bit more modern. Uh, I can see, see it's been plasma cut or oxy torch cut. Look at the size of that. This is a big old. Big old steam powered, steam powered engine. They got the remains of the bearings there, which I imagine this is lead and it would have sat in there and the lead would have been molded around the shaft. Can we see the model? <sighs> C, PC or Chicago Pneumatic Co, maybe? Uh, not familiar with these. Goodness me. Spotted a bit of older tramway back down here. Um, I'm guessing maybe an adit used to pop in. I can see a few more foundations further down. But yeah, bringing it with me here, this is definitely where the main shaft was. I can see it was capped. Uh, we've got a big plant um, and I guess a uh, tramway that was uh, loading it off to the mill further down. So yeah, we've got... Wow. It's windless. No decent size. Looking really, really old too. I think there's multiple generations of this thing. See, that one almost looks like it's got um, some rope around it. it Looks like it's got some counterweights in here. I reckon this was a pretty old shaft. Maybe they were using the counterweights to uh, help pull up ore buckets. That kind of looks like a collapsed hopper. I'm gonna say. And. Again, more bits and pieces of the old plant main shaft here, right in front of the compressor. I'll give you guys a look. So they have done their diligence capping this, and it's collared, and oh, it's timbered. Looks like it goes quite some ways down. We've got a modern, um, a little modern PVC running out here. I'm not an expert or anything, but I guess the modern PVC was probably to pump this out. Someone was exploring it recently. Um, let's. Where's a rock when you need one? <laughs> um, let's get a rock and uh, rock test this thing. See how deep it goes. So I mean, it is an extensive set of workings. Heaps of plant up here. They built the entire ghost town around it. Why would anyone do that? So yeah, it must be big workings. All right, go to the rock test. Oops. It only just stopped then. Holy heck. Yeah, that's pretty deep. So I guess they were hauling the ore out, which by the way, it's probably Moloch. It's this weirdy, I don't know, don't know what it is. Zinky stuff maybe? Not quite sure. Anyhow, they would have been hauling it across, probably pulling up the actual trolleys, I would say, and then hauling it all the way over this trestle, this tramway, into the hopper here. Wow. Yeah, what an exciting explore. I think we have a previous level, um, so there might be another adit down there and another old tramway. Uh, we've got some grizzlies on the top there that you can see. Let's go down there and check that out. 
What? No way. We have the remains of the rear diff of a wooden spoked wheel rim. It's a Hudson Super 6 made in Detroit. That is a substantial size differential as well. I wonder when this first opened. Let's go check the mill. So much to do. This is way more than we we're expecting. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I am in deep shit. See that tiny little white speck down there? That's where I left Hannah. I told her I was just going for a really quick walk and picnic up here to see what was on the side of the hill. I was walking for hours to get here. The road isn't direct, really scared of snakes. Um, she's gonna be so unhappy. Every second that I spend here is, um, is damaging my, uh, my marriage right now. So I do need to be quick. I'll try to cover everything. Let's go check out the mill. Okay, maybe a huge old bearing here, right? That would have been a shaft. We got a centrifugal blower or something of that nature. Some more drums, hoists. We're definitely in the uh, mill section of the site now. These huge old split cogs, more jaw crushers. Of course, wow, phenomenal. The mill itself, this is a ball mill here, I would imagine. This is made in Denver, Colorado. Definitely ball mill there, as they would have loaded it to this bad boy. I want to reach in there, might be snakes. And all right, mill time. Oh man, this is so much to explore. Hannah is going to be so angry with me. We already had a late start today because we uh, partied a bit last night and we're hungover. Um, and now I've just delayed us for countless hours. Left her in a car in the middle of the desert to come do this for you guys. So absolutely sacrificing my marriage for all of you. This crazy old mill. Let's see if I can get on the other side. It looks a bit uh, dilapidated in there. Got a heap more old drums, staircase, or boilers. It's never ending. Sorry if um, my speech is sounding a bit weird. My mouth is dry as the Sahara right now. I was already dehydrated from the party and the hangover. And this has just magnified the pain substantially. <laughs> what is this? Looks like a weird old gas fire or something. Wow. Let's see if we can get in the bottom floor, shall we? Oh my god. I am in such deep shit right now. I know it's not going to be happy. Um, that looks like it was another one of those barrels. Like a hamster cage, squirrel cage, um, and up here, maybe some sort of apparatus was turning it, would be my guess. All right, so no ingress ah! via the other pathway. I just have to see if we can pop in. We'll do what we have to. So it looks like core, core shed in here. This is also going to be rattlesnake territory. There's our core sample room. Oh wow, look at those huge timbers. We must have a hopper above us or something. More core samples, some more bricks, old windows, huge timbers. Uh, some firestone glycol. It's like antifreeze or something. How safe am I right now? Not super safe, not super safe. That is a big fall. 
not smart. But there's no way we can leave this. Okay, hopper level up there, coming off the main shaft and workings. Then I just gotta be really careful here. There's a big drop below me. These are all old timber floors, staircases of questionable structural integrity. I think the stairway up to the up to the hoppers is gone. Hopefully I don't fall through here. So those look like flotation tanks. So I think not quite sure of the process. We've got a conveyor belt there. As I said, hoppers up there. It won't be anything that interesting other than a nice view. And yeah, the flotation tanks here. So we can see some very questionable floorboards. We have this sort of like agitation thing. I've seen this at copper mines before. So given the color of the ore that we were finding, um, yeah, this is a lot like the one in Gimby and I guess it just sort of jigged backwards and forwards. Eh, really don't trust these floors. Wow, okay, we've got a heap of old machinery down there. Just recapping, I think it goes through this jig here and then it uh, goes down to these flotation tanks and I guess what they did is add sort of a surfactant to what they were processing and that would then sort of cause um, a layer of the minerals that they were trying to extract to firm up to the top. Oh, we have a big old belt-driven belt driven power train up here running across the entire building. All right, I'm going down to lower level, then we've got to keep moving. Okay, phone's overheating again. It's so hot here out in the desert. Oh, we've got a huge old two-stroke diesel engine. Um, should have brought a torch. So this would have been maybe the starter, I think. So this would have generated air maybe. Um, and they would have used that to turn over this huge beast. So what do we have here? And I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. Like the engine's big enough to have a staircase. So one, two, three, four cylinders. We've got a bunch of old tools and stuff here. Sorry, it's so dark. I'll try to find a better, better perspective. Got some old self-raising flour. So someone's been looking in the crankcase. It's a Worthington, I'm guessing it's a two-stroke diesel. Huge piece of kit. I guess that's the exhaust manifold heading out that way. So maybe what we saw on the side of the building was like the muffler, basically. And this thing probably had a sick tune. Look at the size of that thing. So that was then turning this, which looks like sort of a clutch pack, which then I'm assuming went through the little galley there and ran the entire works. Wow. Very rare to see something like this in situ, that's for sure. I've got something else up here. We've got some old wiring. Really know what that is. It's sort of like up in the back of the hopper, I guess. Wow. Okay, so yeah, that's a clutch. So when you turn this, that would pull these little arms here and pushed um, the shoes against the outer wheel. So that's how they would have engaged it and disengaged it. Massive. This is absolutely nuts. I have a feeling some of these old engines are very similar to ship engines. Look, we've got a head gasket there. So maybe, maybe this once powered a boat, I'm thinking. Okay, so transfer of power to the shafts above there, which turns the jig and churns the churners in the flotation tank, which is here to my right now. Yeah, so individual drive belts. And down in there, there's basically like a little um, agitator, like fan blade shaped thing. You can actually see a bit of the um, 
just gotta be careful here because this looks incredibly unstable and unsafe. But um, yeah, so you can actually see a bit of the um, congealed foam um, that would have risen out and sort of flowed into this trough um, out of there. So yeah, let's take a final look downstairs. Then we've got to keep moving. I can hear my phone going off. It's definitely Hannah. She's wondering why I've left her in the middle of the desert. I said I'll be back in five minutes. I mean, now it isn't even assured that I'll make it back. I'm so thirsty. Oh, I've got a riffle table. Some other massive, I think we've got a massive old diesel generator in here. A few of them, in fact. It's like a, is that a flathead? I don't know. Maybe someone else can, can tell us. Yeah, that just looks like a gen set over there. Looking out for rattlesnakes again, because this is where I'd hide if I was a rattlesnake. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a workbench. Maybe it's not a riffle table. I don't think it is. Another ball mill. There we go. Our flotation tanks up there. Engine room behind. Um, yeah, the lower part of our uh, flotation tanks. We've got uh, that looks like a root style. Um, lower there, I think. I'll pop around there in a second. Uh, so we've got a gen set. So that would be the dynamo. And we have a, I don't know, looks like one of those flathead style engines. <laughs> Cola. 79. 1979, this was last in there. So yeah, it's, it's obviously it's gone through a few renaissances in its lifetime, I would say. That's definitely a riffle table. <sighs> so there we go, one of some of the more of the massive drive shafts and belts that would run the agitator, taking power off that gigantic um, four-cylinder diesel engine. Oh, this is. Yeah, so we've got another big blower. So there'd be two, two big veins inside of here. Oh, I guess that probably assisted in the uh, flotation, so that would have created bubbles for it. That makes sense. So injecting air, like these are two more centrifugal looking blowers. So I guess they're blasting air into the bottom of this. And of course, here's just the other side of that big old gen set. It looks kind of military colors. Let's see what it was. Consolidated Diesel Electric Corporation. There we go, that was the pump for the dam, I think. Yeah, wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'd love to spend all day here, um, but my marriage will be over if I stay any longer. Everything creaking, because the wind's picked up out here in the desert. Something's flapping around up there in the hopper region. There's some tin flapping. Big timbers here, right? And I don't know if you were paying attention before, but there's um, a distinct absence of that. All right, and now see a gantry train up there as well. So that would have run across there, huge wires. You got a Captain Crunch box up there. Wow, like this was a big mill. They put a lot of effort into building this thing. Huge flotation tanks, giant power station. Just noticing now as well. There were barely any footprints um, where I came in here. So, yeah, that sort of suggests that um, the site is relatively undisturbed. Phone is overheating, super hardcore. Yes, the desert, unsurprisingly, it's hot. The staircase is super sketchy. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. If I had to fall down here, that is it. Just can't trust these floors. Who knows how long they've been here. 
place looks old as, as you can see. Time to say goodbye. Hannah's gonna murder me. Now I need to begin my marriage rescue mission. Wow, wasn't that spectacular? Never seen so much left on a site like this. Okay, all right, we're free. You know, I wouldn't mind coming home from work to this each day. Got a beautiful ride, beautiful view. <laughs> wow. Just the way they left it too. Right where it stopped. Look <laughs> how thick, thick that auto glass is. Wow. Pontiac. Rare to find anything that hasn't been totally scavenged um, and torn apart by you know collectors and stuff. So a really unique sight from that perspective. And with that, we say goodbye to this time capsule forgotten relic of the high desert never found one this intact before with so many artifacts it just looks like people just up and left one day and then obviously someone came back to cap a few chaffs but other than that it's uh as it was so super exciting thank you everyone for joining me i need to go and attend to hannah my wife who is going to be extremely upset at this stage. I've been out here about three or four hours. You saw her off in the distance, parked in the car in the middle of the desert. Uh, I don't even know how long it's going to take me to get back there. This is getting bad. I've been walking for hours now. Walk in, plus the walk out. The sun is absolutely roasting me. My mouth's completely dry. It's starting to feel really sick. I need, I need to get some shade. I need to get some water. May have managed to turn this into a survival situation again. I don't know what's wrong with me. There's gotta be something wrong with me. Why would anyone walk miles into the desert, hung over, without any water? My legs are starting to cramp up. I think this is a home stretch though. Still a long way to go. Oh my god. So sick. Everything's cramping up. Stitches. Just imagine if my vanity hadn't forced me to get this completely inappropriate car. You probably could have driven right up to the doorstep of the mine. But no. Now I must confront a presumably very angry wife. Agua! 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 I um, made some navigational errors. Jump across. I need Gatorade. Stat. Oh, well. Oh.